I will worship you, Lord. I will worship you, Lord, with a heart of thanksgiving. I will worship you, Lord, with my hands lifted up and my mouth filled with praise. With a heart of thanksgiving, I will worship you, Lord. Praise God. Welcome back, saints and seekers of the Lord Jesus Christ. Well, Day of Atonement started sundown for the Jewish people, and uh, I've been sitting here asking the Lord to show me where I'm lacking and help me to be cleansed, to forgive me of my failures, pain I've caused others, things, many things he's already forgiven me for, but we do have things that come to us daily that aren't perfect because we are still in this flesh, and uh, we don't want to just be fleshly, though. We want to be spiritual. We want to sow to the things of the Spirit, and I'm going to title this, Will You Go or Will You Stay?, because Jesus is calling us to follow him. We can't be on the fence and be saved. We can't say, well, I'm just not going to make a decision. I'm not going to say I'm for Jesus. I'm not going to say I'm against him. If you're not for him, you are against him. Jesus demands a commitment. He paid his life for our sins, and we have to claim that. We have to call on the name of the Lord, and we have to ask him to come into our heart. Faith in Jesus is how you will be saved and inherit eternal life. And you know that uh, question, will you go or will you stay? What I was thinking about was from John chapter 6, and I'm going to read to you from verse 58, probably down through 69 or so. Uh, John 6, probably 58 through 69, and uh, Jesus had been kind of giving the um, hard saying about he was the bread of life, and unless you eat his flesh, <laughs> and they thought he was talking very physically about that, except you eat the flesh of the Son of Man and drink his blood, ye have no life in you. So this was shocking those who weren't hearing spiritually what he was saying, but were just seeing this in the physical, what he was speaking, and were appalled by what he was saying. And this is what the Lord tells us, you know, the natural man cannot receive the things of God. They are spiritually discerned, and uh, so... He knew what they were thinking. Let's read it in John 6, verse 58. This is Jesus continuing to speak on this line. This is that bread which came down from heaven, not as your fathers did eat manna and are dead. He that eateth of this bread shall live forever. These things said he in the synagogue as he taught in Capernaum. Many therefore of his disciples, when they had heard this, said, This is an hard saying. Who can hear it? When Jesus knew in himself that his disciples murmured at it, he said unto them, Doth this offend you? What, and if ye shall see the Son of Man ascend up where he was before? It is the Spirit that quickeneth, the flesh profiteth nothing. The words that I speak unto you, they are spirit, and they are life. But there are some of you that believe not. For Jesus knew from the beginning who they were that believed not and who should betray him. And he said, Therefore said I unto you, that no man can come unto me except it were given unto him of my Father. From that time many of his disciples went back and walked no more with him. Then said Jesus unto the twelve, Will ye also go away? Then Simon Peter answered him, Lord, to whom shall we go? Thou hast the words of eternal life. 
and we believe and are sure that thou art that Christ, the Son of the living God. I appreciate Peter. I appreciate all of them. Judas failed. Judas let something get in his heart that wasn't right, that he betrayed the Lord. And you know, many today, there have been uh, people that have ministered in faith to the sheep, and they've let something get in their heart, that fleshly something, and uh, they've led many astray. Some people sold out like Balaam sold out. And uh, the Lord isn't just judging the wicked in the world, but he is judging the wicked in the church as well. And uh, we know that the word tells us in the end times there will be a great falling away before the end. And uh, we can see the condition our world is in and the atrocities that are being committed. And, uh, you know, you will even hear about churches that are participating in things in the world, celebrating things that the Lord spoke very clearly are an abomination to him. So churches that would support things that are an abomination to God are no longer aligned with the Lord, are they? And uh, the Lord sees, and the Lord is weighing, and we are being weighed in the balance, I believe. And how important to be before the Lord right now, not just for our own souls, but interceding for souls in the world, because look at the calamities happening. Souls are being taken out unexpectedly. They weren't expecting to go out like they went out. Were their souls ready? Were their souls ready, and is our soul ready? But I just want to tell maybe someone that might visit this channel, you've got to make a decision for Jesus, or you won't go to heaven. You've got to lay hold of faith in Jesus Christ, or you are not lining up with him. And Jesus was very clear that if you deny him down here, he will deny you on that day when there is judgment. So we don't want to be outside of the promises of the Lord. We want to lay hold of salvation. And today, I believe, is the day of salvation. The Lord, it was spoken in the scriptures, today is the day of salvation. Harden not your hearts as in the day of provocation. So the Lord gave warning, don't be rebellious, don't harden your hearts against him. If you feel the Spirit of the Lord moving on you, you better lay hold of salvation now before it is too late. Because there is coming just, there's already plenty of trouble on this earth. But the wrath of God being poured out, we don't want to be here for that. We don't want to receive the wrath of God on us. And not that we don't deserve it, but if we have repented, he is that faithful and merciful, he will forgive. Godly sorrow worketh repentance. If you are sorry for the things you've done in your life that were against the Lord, and you lay it at his feet and say, I'm so sorry, Father. Forgive me, Jesus, come in my heart. Cleanse me. Make me whole. Help me to walk with you. He will do so. Well, anyway, those of us that are living for the Lord, we can turn our backs on him when things get hard. When we see these hard things on the earth and when it comes to our household and things aren't working just the way we thought in our mind they would work, we can, um, if we're not where we need to be in the Lord, we can fail God. We can mentally fail him and we can speak the wrong thing. And you know, Job said, quietly through all that he suffered and he didn't speak against the Lord foolishly his wife did she wasn't up to it she wasn't ready but he was ready he had lived his life he'd made up his mind who God was and he would not speak against him so when the miracles don't come when tragedy and calamity do as it's hitting many today in our world 
when you suffer economically, when your body's in pain and the healing's not manifesting, will you go or will you stay? Will you go or will you stay? We have got to stand firmly, steadfastly, stay in the word and stay in prayer and worship before the Lord if we're going to stand in the days ahead. Do you know what I'd do if I wasn't saved? Get saved, I'd get saved. Did you know he can keep you from hell and the grave? Get saved, I'd get saved. I'd raise up my hands and lift up my heart, turn myself around and make a brand new start. Do you know what I'd do if I wasn't saved? Get saved, I'd get saved. Praise God, Acts 2.38 tells you to repent, to be baptized in the name of Jesus Christ for the remission of sins. And you shall receive the gift of the Holy Ghost. We're threatened on every side by something. They're talking things that should be scaring people to death. But the Lord has told his people, don't be afraid. So, we're his people. We trust him with all of our heart. And we're not going to lean to our own understanding. The enemy wants to intimidate and bring fear. And there are fearful things on this earth. The Lord did say men's hearts will fail them for fear for the things they see coming on this earth. And you know, there are many people that are passing away and people are saying, well, they don't know why they passed away. And I don't either. Is it the stress of the days? Is it other things? that were put in their bodies, I don't know. But um, death counts are up and young people are losing their lives. Something's happening, isn't it? I will trust in the Lord with all of my heart and I will not lean on my own understanding. And I hope whoever listens to this, you will take hold of that as well. It's just a little while to go through trouble and those who endure till the end will be saved. And I just hope I see you in heaven. Whoever's listening to this will see each other face to face, see Jesus face to face and be forever with him. Praise God. I love you. Jesus loves you more. Be blessed.